Welcome. In this video, I want to show you how to combine multiple documents into a single PDF. Now, for our example, we've got actually a couple of PDF documents that we're going to merge into a single document. The first chapter in a document and then followed by the second chapter in a document. To do that, we're going to go ahead and come to the Combine option right up here in your toolbar. And just as the Create option is also on the File menu, the Combine option is right here as well. So you can get to either of these commands either from the toolbar or from the File menu. So I'm going to go ahead and select Combine and you've got two different options here. One is Assemble PDF Portfolio and the second is merge files into a single PDF document. A PDF portfolio can be compared to a zip file. It's a collection of individual Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or PDF documents that are all contained in the same file. Now that may sound a little bit unusual, but we'll look at that in just a little bit. The other option here is to merge files into a single PDF and that's primarily what we're interested in right now. So I'm going to go ahead and select merge into single PDF and this dialog box will show up. And all I need to go ahead and do is add the files that I want into this dialog box to convert them into a single PDF. And again, we're going to do the first and second chapters of a document. So I'm going to come here to the upper left hand corner and click Add Files. And I have the choice here to add files or if you want to merge every document in a particular folder into a single PDF or make a PDF portfolio, you have the option to add folders to this dialog box. So for example, let's say I have a folder called Project A and all of my Word, Excel, uh, PDF, and PowerPoint documents are in that folder. I can combine every document in that folder into a single PDF and then send it out. That way I don't have to send out or attach um, dozens of files um, for people to keep track of. But again, in this case, we're going to do something just with a couple of different files. I'm going to go ahead and select Add Files there, and this dialog box will open up. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down just a little bit here, and you're going to see I've got a couple of PDFs here. I've got this one here, and I've got the second chapter. Also notice that you can see Microsoft Word documents here and other file types. Right now, the Files of Type dialog box is saying, show me files, whether or not they're, I'm sorry, show me all the files that are supported. If I click this drop down arrow here, you can see it actually goes off of the recording all the different kinds of files that you can merge into a single PDF document. And the ones, again, that we're probably going to place the most emphasis on are Word, Excel, and PowerPoint here. But for, most, for the most part, you're going to leave that alone as all supported formats. So I'm going to go ahead and select the first item there and then click Add Files. And you'll see that's added to my list. I'll click Add Files again. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the second chapter and Add Files. So now there are these two documents. And actually, the documents that you include in the merge don't have to all be the same type. I can go ahead and here and click Add Files again, and I'll scroll down just a little bit, and there's a Microsoft Word document. I'll go ahead and click Add Files onto that, and you're going to see that Word document gets incorporated into this single document as well. And we could do that with PDF documents, we could do it with Excel spreadsheets, whatever kind of documents you want to combine into one. And I'm going to go ahead now and click Combine Files in the lower right hand corner. Now depending on the size of the documents that you're working with, it may take a few minutes to actually combine all these into one. But when Excel is ready, it's going to bring up the Save PDF as File dialog box. The default file name will be whatever you added last. And I'm going to go ahead and type Sample 
combined PDF. And again, I'm going to save this on my desktop. I'll go ahead and click Save. And those documents are now all going to be added to this single PDF. It's taking a little bit. You might be able to see in the background how it's actually starting applications like Microsoft Word in order to merge these documents together. But eventually, everything's going to finish. You'll see the scroll bar up here at the top comes to an end. And when it's ready, you can go ahead, when this is stopped, you can go ahead and close the um, document. So that's all there is to using the combine option to merge multiple documents into a single PDF. In our next video, we're going to show you how to create a PDF portfolio inside of Adobe Acrobat.